Greg and Gail Wilson from Louisville, Kentucky. We just, we just made the grade eight. This is a, a, a one-off 1929 Model A pickup with a 32 grill shell. And it's a 49 to 53 Ford flathead. And we, what we've done here, we put a, a 200R GM transmission in it with an adapter plate so that they will bolt up and work together. We have uh, put 17 inch Dayton wire wheels on the front and 18s on the back. We've had them custom made with stainless spokes. And we also have uh, diamond back tires that we've had them all shaved and, and fit to f for what we've tried to do to get a grade eight up here in Detroit. Now we'll go to the interior. The, the interior was done by Tracy Weaver in Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, he, did, uh, he did all of the leather work and, and all of the carpeting and, and made some custom door seals for it. The, the metal work in the interior was done by Hercules Motor Car in Tampa, Florida, other than the seat. And Brad Starks in Paducah, Kentucky made the seat frame and Tracy covered it. So we made the seat kind of fit the truck. We made the seat look like an old style lounge chair out of the 50s. So you can be able to see the wood in behind the seat. Uh, so you'll know that the whole truck is made out of real wood. The pedals are made to look like surfboards and we've put um, maple veneer on top of them to make it look like wood. They're machined aluminum underneath there and then we've had them polished and chromed. The steering wheel was made out of a 52 MG and uh, Brad Starks made that fit the GM column. Tracy Weaver made the custom DW to go in the horn button. The instrument cluster is a 32 Plymouth that we retrofit from classic instruments. We put a beach scene in palm trees and waves in the, in the instrument cluster to go along with the frame and then we we put wood grain in the background of that to make it all go together. We got wicker on the doors along with some some pockets down there to hold your sunglasses when we're out on the beach. <laughs> so the bed we made we, we have made some custom one-off bed bed rails we, we casted these out of sand and then we made them into aluminum and then we we had them polished and chrome plated the bed wood is hard rock maple with the stainless strips down the center of it and the surfboard rock has got maple and walnut in it and then we took the wicker on the ends when when we put them together and we made them little insignias in there to look like surfboards the surfboard is a custom surfboard that brad starks has changed and he put the wilson's farm custom surfboard logo in it to match what we do and then we custom painted the fins to make them all match the, make, match the truck. And on the back of the cab, we've had the back window raise up and down. And then we made a, a one-off aluminum inlum that says driftwood. And then we had that thing chrome plated as well. The driftwood in the tailgate is CNC'd out of one piece of wood. We did, we did not cut that out and then glue that on there. That's all in one piece. We routed out all the edges and we took a one inch thick piece of, of maple and when we got all done with it, it was only three eighths of an inch thick by the time we cut out the back and the front. The rear end is a, is a, is a winner's quick change that we, we took all apart, we chromed the center and then we painted the outside tubes along with the pinstriping on them and then underneath the bed. We have the roll pans that we made to cover up the bottom of the truck. I guess that's about all we got to say today, but, but just, just to finish up the deal, uh, I'd like to thank Hercules Motor Car Company and Brad Starks for all the, all the hard work that they've done. And me and my wife are really beach people. We really enjoy the beach so that the, uh, we've had two other woodies that we built and this one here, the reason we named Driftwood when we got married 31 years ago, we stayed at the Driftwood Beach Hotel in Daytona Beach. Win or lose of what happens tomorrow, it's been a, a wonderful ride and a lifelong dream, but we'll have to wait till tomorrow to see what happens.